I definitely have a, I guess you call it a spiritual connection with water. I think it's more just a extreme connection with the water. I, it, it's inspiring, it's healing. I mean, heck, both of my children were born in the water. The water has always been, it's, it's been part of me. I mean, I say that and it sounds so cliche, but it's just, it's where I get my energy. It's where I get my inspiration. It's where I clear my mind. I mean, it's even where you heal yourself sometimes. And I appreciate the ocean for that. I, it, I appreciate the water in general. It's one of those things that I just, it's a must. I have to live with it. You know, I have to have it. I never saw art as a full-time career. I think it was a transitional period in my life where I, I needed the art to kind of balance myself and find direction. I did not have a plan to turn it into a career and then I started painting pictures of fish. It was something I had always painted pictures of fish but I started to do it more seriously and when people saw them they went nuts over them so again the success and the response of my art just inspired more. So at that point, I just, I just stuck to it and kept doing it. I feel like when when you dive or when you fish and you see and well whatever you do in life your your bandwidth is only so far you can only retain so much information from whatever it is that you're doing and I feel like for me I see this this scene underwater in order to recreate that properly and give my viewers the proper message I need as much detail and as much reference as I can get and uh, that comes from taking pictures. So when I got in the water today, I pretty much had the piece in my mind already what I wanted. So I had to capture that reference and that reference was a good solid over under shot with the perspective of the mangroves kind of running away, the detail of the oysters and barnacles growing on the mangroves, the mangrove flower, and then capturing a snook at the right perspective where I could fit him in. It was funny today because I knew where we could get mangroves and I knew where we could get snook. I just didn't, couldn't put the two of them together, so I knew I had to find a shot with the snook that would fit in the mangroves. I knew they would be in a little deeper water or in the channel and not up in the shallows and the mangroves. Luckily, I had one cooperate. He came right to the camera and turned broadside, but as he turned, he gave me a perfect perspective looking down on his head. It'll fit right in the reference that I captured of the mangrove where it was kind of right at the water line looking down, but still a split screen with the above water and below water shot. I live on the Indian River. There's a lot of really shallow flats that you better have a really small boat, but if you got a paddleboard and you can be really stealthy and sneak up on these fish, it's really fun. It's exhilarating and it's 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 awesome as an angler, but you have to have the right tool to get there. So once I have the reference that I feel as though I need in order to create the piece, I bring it back and I pull it up on my computer and I start to dissect the elements of what it is I want based on, you know, the detail and the composition. I want it to leave something for the viewer to kind of think about, you know, you kind of let it run off the page and 
don't give them all the information that they need. Let them fill in the blanks, if that makes any sense. You know, fishing has always been a part of my life. And people ask me all the time what my favorite fish to catch is, and I don't have an answer. I love them all. If it's, you know, running 100 miles offshore and trying to catch, you know, big pelagics, or if it's on a paddleboard up in some mangroves trying to catch a snook, or if it's on the edge of a pond trying to catch a bass, I, I love it all. I love, I love the fight. I love hooking a fish. I love pursuing the fish. I think it's more about being in nature and just experiencing and and it's always the challenge. I mean fishing is not easy. And there's always a challenge of can you catch the fish or can you match the lure. There's so many little intricacies that go into it but it's kind of like surfing in a way when you get out there it's a peace of mind you know it's a piece of your soul and it's this a point in which you can have some clarity and enjoy mother nature and not be in the hustle and bustle of work or social media or whatever is going on in the world you know it's just a it's a pretty amazing place the number one component to my balance in life is my wife she is amazingly accepting of the time and the demand that my career has taken and it takes from my family. But at the same time, because I'm my own boss, I have a lot of flexibility and I do get to spend a lot of time with my kids. And, and that's very, very important to me. I have a three and a half year old daughter named Isla and a 15, 16 month old son named Coast. And obviously they're water based, but the water is everything to my family. And because of that, we were looking, trying to figure out a name for our daughter and Isla became, was the choice. And then fast forward two years and my son, we didn't know what, what direction to go with him either. And we actually were paddle boarding one day and we were just spitballing names. And I said, how about Coast? And she kind of looked at me and said, I like that. So. Having them around the ocean, there's this, not anxiety, but you hope that your kid loves it and you hope that you don't scare them with it because it's really intimidating. And like I said, the water is scary. You know, that's kind of life in general. You know, when you're a little kid, the world is a big place. And you know, the ocean is a really big, big place and big, scary water. So you gotta, I'm, I'm really trying to cultivate their soul for the water and do it very smooth and slowly. You know, I think sometimes, you know, you can work hard and you can love something and have a passion, but sometimes you gotta have luck on your side. And I feel like the balance that I get internally with my art and being able to create images and show them to people and show them to the world and it being accepted is uh it's really huge and i don't know if that's luck i don't know what it is but it's uh it's an amazing amazing feeling